Sam P T V near Live from Parliament. Are you hmm? Are you say pinsu two months to election? And uh, and some way as I see is say we only pray for the peace of this nation. It's an say a before chance yes, a peer pray a different state institutions I can see say but now you three arms of government, executive, legislature, and a judiciary. They say more che executive the MPP Parliament Aban Babin and Mary Yay were done the same this in some Obin Nim said the Supreme Court and so a din hearing ever by regarding Suta the majority leader Alexander Fenya Markin and they will copy more now you may the MPP majority now said the MPP majority then and a Aban case of Suman Ababin a year new year for Muti Jinaya just a na anoshi led by omo leader of government business alexander kwame na for your market also on tree and my baby near the way now the above here now it is against parliamentary practice it is against parliamentary procedure have you so no or say eh can you maybe a quote here on non integrity it's answer man man say yura a for your market and for court service or not and for me in the right process or buy it on a court two bailiffs in the buy and number two court processes on every two the table so i find my case to see speaker who boy yes i'm here no i served you through the due processes they had then all boy near good court process what about it now and the rule number two judge and you're before sorry you did the parliament kekake can you maybe no more pure coy live from parliament you go ahead and of course so in the chamber of ghana communication you have just delivered to the house. May you kindly refer to the standing orders that you are coming under. Mr. Speaker, I do not come under any standing orders. So, you may resume your seat then. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker. You are, you are the father of this house. And Mr. Speaker, you, you, have, you have communicated to the house a position you've taken. It's been our practice that any time you have come out with a formal communication, you give opportunity to leadership to make a response. Mr. Speaker, if today you do not want me to talk, Mr. Speaker, that should be, but Mr. Speaker, if you say that, Honourable, Honourable Member, Honourable Member, you got it wrong. It's not the practice of the House that any time I come with a formal communication, I allow members to make comments. That's not the practice of the House. It's never been the practice no, 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 no. of any of the houses that I have been member from 1993 to date. I have not had that as any practice of the house. Some speakers, including myself, may entertain some comments from members, but it is not a practice of the house. Mr. Speaker, if it pleases you, I would like to make some few comments on the matters you've raised, because Mr. Speaker, these are very grave matters. The matters you've raised are not light matters. They are very grave matters that I would want to comment. And Mr. Speaker, so please. you want to seek my leave to make comments? That is so, respectfully. Now you agree it's not the practice. Mr. But Speaker, you are just seeking my leave. Mr. Speaker, as it pleases you, with your leave. With your leave. Well, yes, you may do so. Mr. Speaker, thank you once again for the leave granted me to comment on your communication you just delivered. Mr. Speaker, you underscored your submissions with a very important point that the matter that came before us has interpretation interpretation <coughs> reliefs and that you do not have the power to interpret the constitution and that your duty is to enforce 
Mr. Speaker. Honorable member, you are not listening to me. Mr. Speaker, may I finish with respect? All what you said are wrong, so Mr. I Speaker, cannot continue to allow Mr. you Speaker, to keep on Mr. misleading Speaker, the House. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, please, if, if, if you think that this is your house and you didn't want us to talk, so be, Mr. Speaker, we should allow Honorable you to Honorable Majority Leader, you are addressing the Speaker. But Mr. Speaker, you may, please. I need your protection. They must stop what they are doing. I am in charge. Mr. Speaker, then Anytime, they may be quiet. Please, please. Mr. Speaker, with respect, in your, in, your, in your ruling, my understanding was to the effect that your duty is not to interpret the Constitution. My understanding was to the effect that your duty is not to interpret the Constitution. But Mr. Speaker, it is important for me to emphasize one more time that when the statement was made by my respected colleague, Dr. Kaisel Atufosil, I did draw the attention of the House, including your good self, to the effect that the matter being a very grave matter, I have taken it upon myself to seek the court's interpretation of the matter. Mr. Speaker, indeed, Mr. Speaker, I, I think I, I think I think Honourable I deserve members, some respect. Please, Mr. Speaker, let's listen I think to I deserve other. some respect. Let's listen to each other. No, please. no, I, I think I think it is only fair. Honourable Majority Leader, please address me. I'm taking care of that. Please Mr. let's Speaker, listen to each other. I did indicate that I have filed a process at the Supreme Court. And indeed, Mr. Speaker, the belief of the court had attempted to serve the process on the Director of Legal Affairs and the Director of Legal Affairs and the entire Legal Directorate refused service because, according to them, there was a circular stating that they can only be served on Mondays. I saw the circular myself. Subsequent to that, I asked, hearing the intention of Mr. Speaker, to come to a determination in one way or the other, the directed service, which is within my right, my, Mr. Speaker, yesterday, yesterday, Parliament was duly served. Honourable Member, please, I didn't want to interrupt you, but you are the the majority leader and the leader of this house. As at the time you were directing service yourself, you took the trouble of coming to parliament with two persons who alleged to be bailiffs and went to the legal office and went to the legal office to yourself, directing officials of the legal office to receive the service. You are a member of parliament. I am the speaker. It is my duty to protect your privileges and immunities. In, the, in doing so, I had the discussion with the Chief Justice, and we came to an understanding that in the meantime, the Chief Justice will issue a directive as to how service of members of Parliament, some officers of Parliament, and the Speaker could be effected. I communicated this to the House and discussed it with you, the leaders. We said that as we go along, we will together, Parliament and the Judiciary, particularly led by the Supreme Court, come out with a legislation on this issue of privileges and immunities of parliament, members of parliament, and specified officials of parliament. We discussed this. Based on this discussion, the Chief Justice issued a directive to all registries of courts in the country. And it is stated clearly there that the speaker can be saved 
on Mondays during working hours. There were reasons why we came to those agreements. You are aware of it. Yet, you kept on insisting that service be effected whilst the speaker was presiding over the proceedings of the house. You as leader of the house, as majority leader, you are saying that this was service because you threw the court processes on the table and walked away? Is that how you effect service? Please, Mr. To quote the common parlance, don't go there. Uh, with respect, for the past 12 years, I have accorded you every respect, and I'll continue to do that. No Mr. Speaker, the facts you've put out are not true. Mr. Speaker, these are credibility issues, so I will respond honorable, for the record. Honorable, honorable. Mr. Speaker, somebody has told you something. Mr. Speaker, you reserve the right to be there to make your point. Let me make my point too. Mr. Speaker, no way. Mr. Speaker, no way. I won't. Mr. Speaker, whoever told you, Mr. Speaker, whoever told you that I threw a paper at somebody, this has to do with my credibility. I will not allow her. No, honorable member, you don't listen at all. Mr. Speaker, I do. I never said Mr. you. Mr. Speaker, you said. I, I never said you threw a paper at anybody. Mr. Speaker, I Mr. never Speaker, said that. That's exactly what you said. Let the answer check it. You Mr. See, Speaker, that is what you said. You are being carried away by your Mr. anger. Speaker, you are not I'm listening. Not, Mr. Speaker, I'm not angry. Honorable all. member. Honorable member. Mr. Speaker, I'm not angry. I said the court process yes. was thrown on the table in the office. I never stated it was thrown by you at any person. Mr. Speaker, you said it, I allegedly said some some bailiffs. Allegedly. I, I, I Mr. No, 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 no. Mr. Speaker, then clarify. Mr. Please. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, with listen respect, to me. Mr. Speaker, listen. Honorable Majority Leader, I don't want to proceed to make some orders. Please, resume your seat. I'm very serious about that. Mr. Speaker, Mr. please, resume your seat. Honourable member, honourable member, your 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 Coming events cast their shadows. We have Parliament now, along with the Executive. Honourable members, please kindly resume your seats. Minority leader. Right, Honourable Speaker. The Speaker, first, let me start by expressing our profound gratitude for your erudite ruling on this very important matter of national interest. The Speaker, you have indeed done what is right for the people of Ghana, 
by sticking to the tenets of Ghana's constitution, our standing order, and time-tested precedent being a case law for this House. Mr. Speaker, permit me to congratulate the NDC Majority Caucus for standing firm from day one. Mr. Speaker. Be the first to know in SMPT.